And so the days went on and on. Every other Serena surfaced. Trying to catch a glimpse of Prince Silas, her curiosity she serviced. She learned many things about manfolk and land, and she praised Creator for the amazing work of his hands. But after many days of this, her heart began to sink, imagining the riches inside their buildings, food and songs they must sing. But above all these things, she longed for but two, the glory of heaven, and for Prince Silas too. This longing slowly grew into captivation, yet it did not stop there. She had to do something to live with them all. Her obsession became to breathe air. And so she confided in the only one she believed would understand, Phineas the sea bard who told her of manfolk and the treasures of the land. She approached him at night. Before he went to sleep, Phineas opened his door. Your Highness, what brings you this deep? Serena tried her best to explain, but she quickly began to weep. Phineas guessed the rest of her tale with one logical leap, and he took her into his simple cave home and sat her on his couch. That's all right, Serena, let it all out. When Serena regained her composure, Phineas stood and spoke. I must know how serious you are. This must not be a joke. Creator calls me to the surface, of that I am convinced. Phineas's voice grew grave and low. I must not be involved. I will tell you of a way this all may happen, because I trust your longing eyes. But no one may know I told you this way. I must remain disguised. Serena solemnly nodded her head and swore to secrecy. Then the sea bard drew near to her ear and whispered, Sorcery.